Hi, everyone. So, today The Witness came out. It's uh, the new game made by Jonathan Blow, the person who made Braid some years back. But, I mean, it's, it's not just him, but he had a, a team with him this time, making a far more ambitious game. This time, he's made a game that is apparently much, much longer than Braid. Um, it's apparently a very lengthy, very in-depth puzzle game. And, you know, I really wanted to play this, and I figured, while I'm doing that, why not just record it? And we'll see how this goes. It's going to be a lot of puzzles, and I'm sure a lot of frustration, as this is supposedly a very hard game. But I'm just going to get started. We're just going to get a move on and just see where this goes. Maybe I'll play through the whole game like this, maybe I won't, who knows. But I should mention that if you have any interest in playing The Witness yourself, you probably should not watch this. You probably should stop watching right now, because they say that you shouldn't really know anything about The Witness before you start playing it. So I would say stop watching if you intend to play it. But if you don't, if you're curious about the game and what it is, well, then come with me and we'll take a look at what it is together. I know nothing about it. Pretty much nothing. Been going. I'm going into this pretty much entirely blind. Okay, so to do that, I just had to left click on the first light and then drag it over to the second one. And apparently, all pretty much all of the puzzles are of this format. Let's do that again. Let's click on this. And I guess we'll drag it back over. Okay. We have these panels that we have to solve. And how we solve them, that, that's what's going to get more complicated as we go on. So the thing that's really striking about The Witness is how it looks. It's really colorful, really bright. It's nice to look at. This is the PC version, by the way. This game came out for both PC and PS4. We're looking at the PC version. Very peaceful game. A game all about exploration, they say. That one looks complicated. Maybe we'll come back to that one later. Let's see if we can find some simpler one first, uh, first to try to get used to how this goes. And it looks like I'm going to have to solve three puzzles to open up this gate so we can get out into the world beyond. Unlike most first-person puzzlers, apparently this one is light on story. Or rather, I should say, light on exposition. Maybe there is a story. Maybe there is just a story that we have to unearth as we go. But there's not really going to be a voice talking to us. Telling us what to do and where to go. And maybe insulting us. That's apparently not going to happen in this game. It's about exploration. Looking at... Just looking at the sights. Looking at these puzzles. And seeing if we can solve them. Okay, I've looked all around this room... This looks like the simplest one I've seen, so let's see if this is what I think it is. Let's start here. I'm assuming I just need to drag it to the other side. Okay. Where does that go? Alright, this one is turned on. So these puzzles are starting off very simple, which is good, because I do need to get some learning in before they start with the hard ones. And you know they're going to get hard pretty quickly. Right now, it doesn't, I mean, this is not a big deal, it's just simple mazes. So I'm just dragging with the mouse to get one point to the other. 
And it looks like we're connecting power, connecting electricity from that along the maze to here. So they're not mazes. I guess we'll consider them paths. They're paths that we have to get from the entrance to the exit. Okay, and now we have completed one of these cables. The power is now going to this. That looks like it's going to be a puzzle in itself. All right, let's follow. Some more cables. This game, a very quiet game so far. Blow said that there's actually no music in the game. That it's all just sounds of nature. Sounds of the island. In-game sounds. And apparently that's important. I don't know if... Auditory cues are going to play a part. But he said there was a reason that there's no music. Or maybe it's just maybe there's no music just to help us focus and concentrate. I don't know. Let's see. I'm looking at this maze. Trying to I'm gu I'm guessing I, oh, actually do I have to get to two which location do I have to get to? Is it the upper left upper right or the lower right? Oh, both? All right. All right, that's one. Oh, it has to be one. Oh, I can do one or the other. Well, where's that one going? Oh, actually, to get to that bottom right, I just have to go in the path that I took to get to the upper right. Okay, no, I... No, no, it is one at a time. So I have to figure out which one I need and why. Oh, actually, it looks like I did get the second one. Maybe I have to change the other one to the upper right after I'm done with this. But for right now, I need it here at the door. So, The Witness is said to be a very long game, especially if you try to go for the completionist route. You don't have to solve all the puzzles to complete the entire game, they say. So, I can start from two points, but there's only one exit point. So, why is that, do you think? No, oh, it's over here. So, very slow start. But we're learning, we're figuring things out, figuring out what it is we need to do. And it does seem apparent that what we need to do is right here. Hmm. Was it really that simple? That's... that looked like it should have been more complicated, but okay. We've emerged from the room that we found ourselves in. Oh my, and we see more of the environment. It's a pretty unique looking game, I think. Obviously, they're not going for a realistic looking... A realistic look, but very, very bright, very colorful. A little bit cartoonish, but not really. This one has white and black dots on it. Maybe I can't move it past the dots. Let's see. Well, if I can't move it past the dots... The entry point is blocked by dots, so... One thing I've heard people say 
is that if you come to a puzzle and you can't solve it, move on. Walk away. Try something else. You won't be able to solve everything right away. Yeah, I really do like the art style to this. And the Witness, a game that took much longer to make than was originally projected. I think the original launch date was thought to be in 2014, and obviously that didn't happen, because it only came out today. Hmm. Do I have to cross the, re the red dots? All right. This is black dots. Should let's see. I'm don't know if well, let's just try crossing all of the black dots and see if that does anything. Oh, it did. Okay. Okay. So maybe the key to the black dots is just you got to go over all of them in any given puzzle. Oh. Okay, no. I can't I can't cross the stream. I can't cross the line. A line will will block the line. Okay. No, that's not going to work. N no, that's not going to work either. Has to be one continuous line. But that will work. Two starting points. Still don't know what that means. Is there a reason for the two starting points? It's maybe it's just a choice. Whichever one you want to take, you can go with. No, that won't work. But this will. All right, I did all five of these, but nothing seems to have happened. That's another thing that has been said about the witness that when you solve puzzles any effect they might have might not be immediately apparent, or maybe there's no effect at all. Maybe the entire purpose of me to do this was just to teach me about the dots. They say that you should treat the puzzles as a learning experience, and not necessarily that every puzzle needs to do something. Alright, that was easy. No, it doesn't. it didn't like that. All right, line has to go between black and white. It will not tolerate otherwise. I'm gonna have to remember all these things. You know, you know they're all gonna come together in big puzzles later on. So I have to remember, if black and if there are black and white dots in puzzle, line must go between black and white dots. I'm assuming that's not going to work. No. Okay, it wants what? Okay, white dots are white dots demand line. Um, oh, is, is it not? Hmm. Okay, these white dots were satisfied. So, okay, like okay, yes, like that. Okay. I hope I'm getting the right lesson from this that the line has to go between black and white white dots because if I'm learning the wrong thing, that's going to be a big problem later on. I'm guessing. No, those dots are those dots are unhappy. Okay, so is it because the line crossed by them, but they were not also crossing a white dot? Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. No, those dots are not happy. I have to figure out the language of the dots. What do the dots mean? What do the dots want from me?
Okay, so that means that all... Okay, so that's the reason why there are blue squares. Because those don't matter. So all this... Uh, that doesn't work. So all this is going to have to get cut off. Okay. So, okay. So it wasn't actually the case that each line had to be between black and white. I was handicapping myself by thinking that way. It was just an issue of that black and white had to be separated. Insert your own jokes here. Oh, there's my shadow. I'm a person, it seems, in this world. I'm not just a, uh, a head on a stick, but apparently I am actually someone. Maybe we'll find out more about who I am as we go on. Now, there doesn't seem really seem to be a path telling me where to go, so, you know, I'm just... I guess I'm just gonna walk off into the distance and see where I go, because it's a really colorful land, full of pretty weather, and... I mean, there's nothing here to say where I should be going, so I guess I'm just gonna choose a direction, and off I go.